is visible. Let's go ahead and check out even the page transitions are working fine. Integrations, templates, let's give that uh, search thing here. That's looking good as well. Oh, I think that's an issue, folks. I think we found our first main, a big issue. Uh, hold on, my duck is dead, so let me go ahead and kill that. I want to go ahead and, oops. God, let me get to it. There we go. Uh, in templates, I wrote tax, I clicked on this, and it's dead. Templates slash undefined. So is there some kind of loading period before I, I click on it? But no, it's actually just a search. I think we've actually found something pretty major here. Um, let me go back to the search here. And well, actually it's gonna be every link works as intended. So interactive elements here. Let me uncheck that and add um, here an issue. Template links when you use the search feature. Um, have broken JavaScript that leads us, that causes uh, links with undefined, which obviously leads to a 404. I'm just gonna go ahead and link this page here once again. Uh, let's go ahead and put the link on this thing. Oop, wrong, uh, wrong thing here. And let me go ahead and link this here. There we go. So that's one major issue we found here. Um, pretty sure no one's going to find that like right off the bat. Once again, because everything or almost everything is visible right away. Like at that point, with so few elements, you could probably just like update the limit to, of the items displayed here to four and just remove the search. Just enable it once you've got more items. Uh, that's probably going to fix most of your issues. And it's like the search is not super useful when there's nothing in there to be searched for. Just my two cents here. So let's go ahead and resume our testing on Safari.